guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I've got a grocery haul, shopping haul, I should say. Um, I did a little bit of prepping because each week I prep for the months ahead and the year ahead sometimes. So this week I did a little bit of that. Um, and it was interesting <laughs> when I, okay, so I, I left early to get to Costco early. So I got my gas and then I got, I was still there before it opened and so I had to wait about 15 minutes. Well, the line started while I was getting gas and it went down the whole side of the building and around before they opened the doors and everybody was a mad rush. I could have, I could have done without that. Um, they're in such a big hurry to get in and get out, I guess. Uh, but I did see a few people panic buying. Like they took their limit of water, they took and water went up from two ninety nine for a flat of water to three forty nine, I think, or maybe it was three nineteen. Anyway, gas was three thirty five a gallon, so that went down four cents. Um, <laughs> the line at the gas pump was great; there was no waiting. So they had toilet paper this week, so I went ahead and I purchased it because. The two bathrooms will hold that 30 rolls and I will, you know, I still have some in the garage, but I didn't want to get the ladder out if I can just fill those holes. Keep that as backup for whatever comes my way, right? Okay. And that was still the $15.79, I think, is what toilet paper, $14.79. I don't know where my receipt went, so we're going to go off memory. Um... These are chicken snack sticks. They're 100 calories a piece. I've already eaten one, so I need to get these in the fridge. Um, $9.99, and they were $2 off, so it was $7.99. You can't beat that. Um, this is Cedar Plank Salmon Seasoning. It's delicious, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to Cedar Plank some salmon for you, but I'm going to Cedar Plank what? Canned salmon, and show you how I do it with a salmon patty. You will be shocked and amazed how absolutely easy and simple this is in the middle of winter, preserving that catch from the, the fall. Right now it's salmon season here um, and tuna season. Uh, you guys saw me can all that tuna. But I have canned salmon from last year. So, you know, I continue to use it throughout the year. And so I'm going to go ahead and make that for you guys. I bought two rotisserie chickens. These are $4.99 a piece still. My plan for this is to break it down, bone all of it, and I was going to do it as soon as I got home, but I'm running, my time, my stopwatch is running out here, so, but I am going to break these down, I'll just warm them back up, I'm going to break them down, I'm going to package them in individual packages for like a portion for a salad, for tacos, for a burrito, for Whatever I decide I want to do with it, chicken salad maybe, or just shred it on top of a salad, I, I've got it. And so this freeze is fantastic. It's already seasoned. It's already cooked. Uh, most of the work is done, right? You still, even if you cooked a whole chicken yourself, you've got to cook it. you got to take that time, clean up the mess, and then you've got to go ahead and um, bone it and uh, wash up all the mess. It's just kind of funny. It's, it's a messy job. So I thought, you know, I'm going to take a shortcut today. Okay, then I, I needed brown sugar. My container that holds 10 pounds, I believe, or 5 pounds, um, I needed another container of sugar. So 7 pounds of brown sugar right there. Um, I got a bottle of Chardonnay. They had Ziploc um, gallon bags for 11, I think, 11.59 or something. So I bought that, I store them up there, you can't have too many, right? And the bath tissue, okay. Two bags, these are big bags of spinach. Um, two and a half pounds of spinach, times two. So I got five pounds, I wish I would have gone ahead and gotten seven, another, a third bag, but they were $5.99 each. Um, and I, I, it's triple wash, so I don't have to wash it, but I'm going to can it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to can it, and I think I might even can it in half pint jars because it's just me, and that's a perfect serving to take for lunch. I can eat that spinach right out of the jar, um, but I may just do pint jars and just um, 
figure out what I'm going to fill the canner with because that's not going to fill seven pint jars. Even though it looks like it should, by the time I blanch it and get it in the jars and get the water in there, yeah. Okay, you know how spinach shrinks. So that was Costco. Costco. About $100 is what I spent there. Um, and then I went to Fred Meyer and while I was driving, my firewood guy texted me and said, hey, I haven't forgotten about you. And I thought, well, that was sweet because he's coming next week. And then I read further and he says, I'll be there later this afternoon. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, so I had to get cash. So I had to stop at Fred Meyer and then again at Safeway. So on the way home, I had two stops. So Fred Meyer had chicken thighs and legs on sale and whole chickens for 88 cents a pound. And this is the Heritage brand. I love this brand. Um, so I bought two packages of thighs. Those will go in the freezer. Um, and then I can decide whether I'm going to can them later or not. Uh, is that it there? That was, that was pretty much it at Freddy's. And then, uh, well, I did, actually I got this at Fred Meyer. I got two of these. These were three for five dollars. And I dropped one in the garage and it broke. So I had a mess of iced tea all over the garage floor. And I was able to save about mm, a third of the container or maybe a fourth and pour it into my other iced tea that's open. Uh, so at Safeway, I stopped and I got, um, these are country style ribs, and this package was $7, $7.59. They were $1.79 a pound, I believe. Yep. So that is my, oh, did I, did I talk about the potatoes? No, I didn't. Okay, Costco, back to Costco. I got, um, this is a 10 pound bag of golden Idaho potatoes. So these are going in canning jars. I'm going to can some and I've got some plans for later on with these potatoes. So that's my shopping haul. If you guys want to see me can the spinach or the potatoes, um, I'll be doing a couple little spins on the potatoes. They're not just going to be plain in water. Uh, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how your Costco was. Man, it was it was a mad rush. I've never shown up right at 10 o'clock, I guess, in a long while. And um, <laughs> it was crazy. Everybody was pushing. I had some lady push right in front of me, and she wasn't even in line. We all waited in line. And, and I go, excuse me, <laughs> go ahead. I mean, I, I don't care. But it was just all she had to do was say, excuse me. I, I, I just found it to be just the nature of how people are anymore. They just don't have the manners they used to. But hey, that's okay. All right. I'm going to put all this away. And I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe using something here on the island. <laughs>